can know that they have to stay like this because I've already done it. Okay, apparently we ignore for now. Oh, chat, get this. I'm reading this. Killing one of the foes in each encounter in the next room with a light art or a dark art. Yeah, dude. This is a super hidden side quest. Apparently we have to get these phone stones. One needs to die from a light art, and one needs to die from a dark art. So this will be uh, this will be interesting to do. This looks like fun. All right, we kill, we weaken them both. Actually, I want to use a magic lens so I have a better idea how much they have. Okay, 37k. Yeah, smash him with a giant hammer, Anis. You go. Anis has light and dark, so if I ever set the casting, she should be able to kill one, no problem. A <laughs> gug near a go go? What? For now, guard. 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 And guard. Don't kill Anis. What was that? What did I just. Don't die from this. What did I just watch? <laughs> Alright, tier. Kill this enemy with Grand Cross. And look at Anis just watching. I kill you? No, it didn't. It did a lot less than I thought, to be honest. Understood. Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> I was trying to weaken him, and I was like, oh, fair enough, weaken him too much. This looks like fun. All right, well, take two. Just Mystic Art. Behold my Raising Phoenix. Bum 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 bum. Wonder if I can kill both with each of the elements or such. Tier, I want you to use Judgment. All right, don't get carried away, Nova. Yeah, I'm doing like 1,300 per hit. So I gotta be careful. Oh, look at that damage from Tear. So good. I wonder if I can bloody howling on you and kill. Ennis, no, use bloody howling. Bloody howling. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, good stuff. Anis, I really need you to use Bloody Howling. Also, I should not kill this thing. Okay, good. Gonna do a lot less damage. I oh, know we're good. That worked. Wait, Judgment's not fire? Got the Shadow Phone Stone. Hang on. Judgment isn't light? It's a fire! Why is it fire? <laughs> Why is it a fire art? Judgment is a light art. Hells of Symphonia Judgment is a light art. Why is it fire? That makes no sense. Alright, take two. We gotta have Tyr use Grand Cross then. Like or Eclair the Alarm. Or we can have Anis use like Miracle Hammer, but I'd rather have Tyr do it because her magic attack is higher. Why is Judgment a fire art? Dude, mind blown. That is insane. Bum, 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 bum. 
Goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. Tear. Grand Cross on this robot. Understood. Light of Redemption. No, you moved away! You loser! Yeah, the flames of hell, get him. I really love how you're just supposed to know to do this. An example that tells of the abyss is super hidden with its side content. That hit you, but it didn't kill. Just use this, honestly. Understood. Better hit range. Grand Cross's hit range isn't very good. Kill him, kill him. Good job, Tier, good job. Nasty. Alright, we're done. So now we can uh normal. 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 By the way, I mentioned how sometimes I'll just like swear out of nowhere. That's what happened there. <laughs> like back in that last battle. I'm sure that surprised all my longtime viewers. Because I rarely, I rarely swear on stream. It happens every now and then though. So now we can use the light phone stone, but I want to hold off on that. I'm just following this guide because this this uh is not easy to do on your own, apparently. You'll need one of each. Ensure that it works. Control the caster. Okay. Go up the passage ring looking thing. Use the light stone. So we have to use the light stone. Let me actually save the game. Just in case I like mess up or something and I have to like get another one. This is how we're doing this. Dude, I love that we have a winged bottle. I think we have like two. Probably have like another wing bottle. I really hope there's a way to go straight back to Eldrin. I bet there isn't gonna be, and I'm gonna hate it, but oh, would it be so good if there was a way to go straight back? We might have to walk it back, but it's not a super long way back at least. Oh my word! Wasn't expecting that. The room turned around. Looks like the building turns when you set the center phone stones to the same color. There should be some way to put it back. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this will help me get those uh, little blue stones. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It should be a lot easier to get this stuff now. Okay. The dark bone stone's probably for putting it back, I would assume. What's this? Uh, okay. That just reset it. Am I gonna have to get another light phone stone, though? Load. I knew something like that would happen and it's like, hey, get another light stone, which I don't got that kind of time in my life. So we don't want to step on that. I love how the game's just like, it pans over to it like, oh, you, sh you should step on it, but nah, if you step on it, you gotta get another one. Yes, yes, room turned around. So we don't want to step on that. We do not want to step on that. So we go this way. Probably climb these ladders and eventually we can find a way to get to those other uh, blue stones. 
I saw one of them we have to use Mew Wings on. Nice. That opens that door. Good job, Mew. Good job. Now down we go. Ba -bum -bum. Probably climb that one, but I want to hold off on that for now. All right, never mind. I don't. I want to go now. Dude, why did the characters climb like that? It looked like mice when they climbed the ladder. Is that gonna reset me again? I don't want it to. This side quest is worded. It's a little weird. That might turn it back. I don't want to turn it if we need this room again, you know? Although the door's open now. So maybe not? I don't know. I'm so confused. This one puzzle. Can't go that way. Luke 68 nearly 69 I'm gonna take a chance I'm gonna go back and save the game and uh, reset the room and see if we can do anything different oh wait I can't save the game I have to turn the room first yeah it's really annoying you know what I'm gonna turn the room if we have to get in our light phone stone we have to get in our light phone stone that's just how it works if that's what we have to do Although, no, maybe I should try turning it from this, though. Just because it's new. It's like a new area. So maybe turning it from here is, like, the ideal solution. By the way, I don't care about getting all the treasures here. I think one of the treasures is the catalyst weapon. That's what I care about. So if we end up not getting every single chest in this place, that's fine. I just want the devil on. Is the main thing. Yeah, now we're somewhere different. We could probably go get those two chests. Or one chest. This is somewhere different, actually. Not where I thought. Bonic Sword. What if I hit this? Oh, no, I can just turn it. Okay. I don't need another phone stone. Interesting. So we got the Phonic Sword. Trying to like read this in my guide too. So now we have to turn the room again. Maybe the rest of the puzzle is self explanatory now because we did that room turning shenanigan. Let's do a fight. Bum 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 bum. bum. Yeah, finishing sorrow. Get him. Hey, dude, frigid moon. Love me some frigid moon. Oh, get him, Anis. Anis didn't have the uh, over limit off. It's fine. Let her final fury. She deserves it. I'm gonna actually do it because I love final fury. I did not want Anis to miss her chance.
didn't he get the Sword of Lorelei weapon? He did. Can't we use his second Mystic Art? I think Luke has a second Mystic Art that you like need this equipped in, right? And you have to like be low on HP. I might try to proc that. Or is that only a second playthrough he can do that? Because I know Luke has a Mystic Art. It's called Lost Phone Drive. I'm gonna play as Luke and try to proc it, I guess. I'm also probably going to switch, uh... Yeah, let's give Luke the capacity core. Guy's good on stats. I want to give Luke the the balance, the really good capacity core. Because he's the main character, it makes the most sense. And we'll uh, do this. I know Luke's second Mystic Art. It's like the only Mystic Art I know. I know Luke's second Mystic Art is Lost Phone Drive. It's like the only one I know, though. I'm pretty sure I thought he could use that in the first playthrough. I don't know if I ever proctored it or I just saw it online. I know, I know someone in chat was saying they're all like second playthrough only, which is lame. I don't remember Luke's being the case, being like that though, is the thing. Is this door open now? Is that door open is what I need to move on. It's not. Of course it's not. Alright, we had to turn the room, so what do we do now? Turn the room again. Oh, this puzzle. This is taking up a lot of, uh, a lot more time than I thought. This is where the bulk of our time is gonna go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all the other side quests are not going to be long, though, so this is all fine. And we're done with Eldritch now. Oh, I'm Luke again, not Guy. That's why my attacks were so slow. Good swallow fury. Does anyone want to confirm for me how to use Luke's second Mystic Art? Do I need to be an over limit and just low on HP? Do I need to be, like, low in HP or something? Like 16% or something, or 10%, kind of like Lloyd's. You're weak. You're a and do I You're have a to be an overlimit, or can I just do it normally? If I have to be an overlimit, that's going to be really hard to pull off. I bet I do have to be an overlimit, but it's going to be so annoying to pull off if true. Hit that already. Did I go in this room? This is new. We never been in this room. This is what I'm thinking of that we had to enter. Oh, and I'm assuming we use another phone stone there, maybe. But yeah, a simple yes or no if Luke's Mystic Art is second playthrough only, and if it isn't, then how do I use it? I would like to at least see one of them if I could. Any second Mystic Art I could possibly see, I would like to see, to be honest. There are the Phonic Gloves. Am I gonna need another Light Phone Stone for this, or do I just use the Dark Phone Stone? Okay, no, we used the Shadow Phone Stone. Should be coming to the end of this puzzle, I think. Probably should open up possibilities for the other stuff. Don't step on that. We don't want to step on that. That would be bad. Oh, now I have to hit this. How am I supposed to see what's up there, though?
Hang on, let's just use my guide. I believe all are NG+. Plus. Why? Why, though? Like, dude, I hate that. I really don't like that. Second Mystic Arts are just, like... Mystic Arts are awesome. Having Mystic Arts be NG plus only is so lame. Having most- having the post-game dungeon be NG plus only is lame also. Tells the Abyss stumbles in some stuff where it's like, oh, NG plus only? Yeah. Like, NG plus is good, people might want NG plus, but to lock stuff to NG plus is so annoying. Because the game is, like, long enough. Who's gonna, like, want to replay the game immediately after and be like, oh, I gotta see these Mystic Arts I didn't get to see? Saying it's hard to get them is one thing, but just saying outright, like, yeah, you have to NG+, plus, it's always annoying when the game's, like, it's impossible to get this on a first playthrough. Like, NG+, plus is the only way. It's just, a, it's the mentality, you know? It's, like, the mentality of knowing that you can't possibly see a Mystic Art on a first playthrough. It's just really lame. Have it be, like, difficult to get. Have it be hard to get. Whatever. But at least there's a chance. But having it be, like, impossible on a first playthrough... It's, it's just lame in any video game, not just Abyss, just any game that's like, oh, this super cool thing, you have to NG+, plus. like, you have to. It's really annoying. I have no idea what I'm doing for this. Use the Shadow Phone Stone. Rotate them. Rotate them each once so that the slanted sides face each other. They should form a V shape. I need to step on the switch. Do I just turn them like that? Actually, will they reset if I re enter? Oh, I think that's what I have to do. Probably. There might be a van sequence that might proc it. Interesting. That would be really cool. Maybe that's why I know it then. Step on the switch in the floor. Back to the right and south. Rotate the room back to normal. If I screw up, I'll just get another dark phone stone. No big deal. Okay. Back here. Alright, I didn't really want to fight you, but I guess I have no choice. Actually, just, just, I put back on use over limit, to be honest. By the way, we're probably going to fight Van with this team. We'll use Anis and Natalia for, like, the super bosses and such. Like, all, I don't know who I'm using for the super bosses, but, um, we're going to fight, uh, we're going to fight Van with this team. Like, we're going to end the playthrough with these four characters, which are my top four characters in Tales of the Abyss. I know for the cameo battle, and we'll probably get Anis in for the cameo battle or the devil arm boss, and then Natalia in for the other one is what I'm thinking. So we're still going to use Anis and Natalia, but like for the final boss, we're going to use these four. Definitely. These are my four favorite characters. Yes, farewell. Okay. Oh, this might work now. Maybe that's... We'll, uh... Actually, will it? This looks similar. Oh no, it works. Okay, that works. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. That just reset them? What? Step on the switch, rotate the room back to normal, climb the large staircase, stand on the purple glyph between the two spinning orbs. 
Him, you fire at them, get ready, they're gonna... Oh, we need to move during this. Question mark. Fire, switch to Mew Wings. Between the orbs. Okay, I understand. I understand. We have to stop the uh, we have to stop the thing from turning back. I oh, got it. All right. That wasn't so bad. That sounded a lot harder when I was reading it, but nah, we got it. First try. Should be almost done with this little section. Hopefully. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, look at this. This has to be the where a devil arm is located. Probably just right there. Is some um, tears? We have Natalia's, right? Tears is the only one we don't have, right? We have Anis's. Yeah, Heart of Chaos was Anis. This is Tears. Is this? There's phone on interference going on. So this is one of the planetary arc catalysts too. It's at Yulia's grave. Might it have some relation to her? Yulia was a scorer after all. This may be the staff she used. I hate to disturb her rest, but let's take it with us. Tears her descendant, right? I'm sure she'll understand. Yulia, please forgive us. Hey, unicorn horn for best girl. That's the final devil arm. There's one more part, which is the, uh... That makes all the catalysts. I guess they're gonna tell me right here. That map, it was of Mount Roneal, right? I am worried that we still lack information on the planetary art, but perhaps we should go. I'm so excited! I wonder what kind of art it is. What's the matter? I don't know. I just suddenly got worried. Don't worry. If worst comes to worst, I'll protect you. What? Uh... I... I didn't mean it like that. How very Asbel of you. Fine. I didn't take it like that. How very Asbel of Luke. 